Unit 13, Lesson 1. Some of the greatest scientific achievements in the last 50 years. We human beings tend to forget how far we have come as a species in a relatively short period of time. It was only in the 1870s when we had the first house that was lit with electricity. Cars just started to become available a hundred years ago. Charles Lindbergh made the first transatlantic flight in 1927. Televisions didn't become widely available until after World War II. In other words, the advances humankind has made in a relatively short period of time have been nothing short of extraordinary. Perhaps just as extraordinary is how we tend to simply adapt to these incredible changes, not realizing how completely our world has been altered in a short span of time. With that in mind, it is worth looking back at some of the amazing scientific advances we have made in the last few decades. The Artificial Heart there is nothing that piques the interest of a human being quite as much as the prospect of living a longer life. Implanting a person with an artificial heart in 1982 was an extraordinary step towards increasing the human lifespan. A Seattle-based dentist, Dr. Barney Clark, was the first person implanted with the Jarvik 7, an artificial heart intended to last a lifetime. The Jarvik 7 artificial heart was designed by Robert Jarvik. Though the patient survived 112 days, it was a huge step towards the development of heart transplant surgery. One day, more advanced versions of artificial organs will likely allow us to live much longer and more productive lives. When we get there, we will owe a lot to Robert Jarvik's artificial heart. Cell phones. Phones have been around since their late 1800s, but cell phones have made their appearance only in the 1990s. Today, by some estimates, more than 100 million people in Bangladesh and more than 4.6 billion people worldwide have mobile phones. Anything that is useful and spread so fast has to be considered one of the greatest inventions of all time. Just two decades ago in Bangladesh, even landlines were difficult to obtain, let alone mobile phones. Today, people from all social strata use cell phones, from street vendors to business executives in luxury cars and from villages to urbanites. Since May 2015, Bangladesh joins its South Asian neighbours, India. 862 million and Pakistan, 122 million on the list of countries with 100 million or more mobile phone users. The other countries on the list are China, 1 billion users, Russia, Brazil, the United States, Indonesia, Japan, Germany, the Philippines, and Nigeria. The personal computer. Today, we take for granted that we have one machine that allows us to access the internet, do word processing, use a calculator, watch TV, play games, and do a host of other things. But the personal computer only became available to consumers in 1974. Things really took off when Microsoft Windows was introduced in 1985. It's good that it was since without the prevalence of personal computers, the Internet wouldn't have had nearly as big an impact as it has ever since. The first communication satellite. People on Earth may take for granted today's high-tech world of cell phones, GPS and the satellites high above the planet that make instant communication possible. But it all began 50 years ago with one giant space balloon. 10th of July 1962 marked the birth of satellite communications. On this day, the Tau Star satellite commenced its journey into space and became the first ever active communication satellite. It carried the first live transatlantic TV broadcasts. 
Telstar was built by a team at Bell Telephone Laboratories in the USA and incorporated many innovations such as the transistor and the 3,600 solar panels that powered the satellite. Telstar produced 14 watts and relayed its first and non-public television pictures on the 11th July 1962. The satellite could carry 600 voice calls and one black and white TV channel from an egg-shaped orbit. Today, we use satellites for GPS, TV, radio, weather tracking, military surveillance, space exploration and global communication, amongst other things. The moon landing. For thousands of years, human beings had looked to the heavens and dreamed of walking on the moon. In 1969, as part of Apollo 11 mission, Neil Armstrong became the first to accomplish that dream, followed only minutes later by Buzz Aldrin. Their accomplishment gave people around the world the hope of future space exploration. In fact, it was a feat that was so fantastic that there are still conspiracy theorists who insist it could not be possible. Putting a man on the moon is perhaps man's most inspiring accomplishment. It opened the door to future space travel and led to a number of spin-off inventions including flame-resistant textiles used by firefighters. Invisible braces, improved satellite dishes and better medical imaging. The Internet, World Wide Web. The Apronet. The first Internet was invented in 1969 and the public only had access to the World Wide Web starting in 1993. Today, just 22 years later, the web has revolutionized the dissemination of information, created a new multi-trillion dollar economic phenomenon, played a role in revolutions and has interconnected much of the globe. It has also made it possible for people all over the planet to reach out and touch someone. The Microchip a microchip is a set of electronic circuits on one small plate chip of semiconductor material, normally silicone. Microchips are used in virtually all electronic equipment today and have revolutionized the world of electronics. The forerunner to the microchip was invented back in 1959. But it didn't really start to take off until the 1980s. Since then, incredible advances in microchips have made it possible for them to be cheaply and efficiently used for calculators, personal computers, pet identification, automatic telemachines, satellites, pacemakers, cell phones, and microwave ovens, among many other products.